Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed bin Sultan bin Zayed bin Khalifa bin Shakbalt bin Thea bin Issa bin Nayan bin Fada bin Yas's name is a sentence within itself. Who is this Sheikh I speak of? Yes, it's the one everyone is raving about these days. The president of UAE and emir of Abu Dhabi. Well, at least he was before he died. He was also the world's fourth richest royal, and we will be poking our nose into his luxurious lifestyle in this video. Net Worth and Lifestyle Khalifa bin Zayed has an estimated net worth of $19 billion, and the Al Nayan family is believed to have amassed a total of $150 billion. Sheikh Khalifa had a stroke in 2014, after which he was rarely seen in public, meaning very little is known about his lifestyle after that time. His place of residence in the United Arab Emirates, for example, is kept very secret. But stay tuned to find out what we do know about him. Mansions and Properties Rich people have more home than they will ever stay in, and Sheikh Khalifa is no different. He even owns personal mansions he's never even stayed the night in. He is one of the richest landlords in London, with an estimated five and a half billion pound property empire under his name. With nearly a thousand tenants, he earns 160 million pounds a year. Other properties belonging to the Sheik include 17 Bruton Street, the place Queen Elizabeth was born, a residential block in Knightsbridge home to the Ecuadorian Embassy, the Time Life Building in New Bond Street, and one Kensington Gardens. He also owns Berkeley Square House, where the famous seafood restaurant Sexy Fish is built. You know, maybe when people tell you there's more fish in the sea, they probably mean these sexy fish in Mayfair. The Sheik must love the UK because there's another mansion written under his name near the Queen's Windsor Castle. He purchased it for $22 million and has spent a fortune in its upgrading and renovation, having gigantic water tanks installed so that the water flowing throughout the building would be all Evian. And yes, the water was imported all the way from France. It's a pity he spent all that money only for the mansion to become an enormous play area for spiders. You know, because he never actually used that place. Maybe this property was a gigantic advertisement scheme by Evian. Clever, if not downright insane. She Khalifa could have earned a whole lot if he made the company actually sponsor his Windsor mansion. Too bad he didn't think of the idea first. Automobile collection and other vehicles. His Highness was probably obsessed with cars, if his Sheikh Khalifa Pyramid Car Museum is any indication. The museum is actually just a very fancy garage, except he'd have to drive over it to pick a car to drive for the day. I guess everything makes sense when you're rich. The museum hosts a bunch of cars. Some say there are more than 30 cars parked there. Others claim there's about 50. Maybe people forget to count his five custom-made Bugatti Veyrons as five separate cars. At least they're all different models. Other automobiles in the museum include Formula One cars, Ferraris, Lamborghinis, and a rare Rolls-Royce drophead, which has only nine others like it in the world. The museum is also home to the most gigantic Dodge Power Wagon in the universe. This bad boy towers over all the other automobiles, sort of like a father figure. It has an inbuilt kitchen, bedrooms, and bathrooms. As if owning over 30 cars and mansions costing billions of dollars wasn't enough, the man also owns the world's biggest Bedouin caravan. This monster is a walking, or in this case, driving, hotel if there ever was one. With over 10 bedrooms, toilets, and even a balcony, this caravan would be ideal for a family trip. A very large family. Actually, make it five families. The Sheik had it built specifically for the purpose of displaying it in his multi-story museum. Talk about car craze. No, we aren't done just yet. The Sheik also has a Sheik Khalifa Day of the Week car collection. Yes, he bought seven of the same cars and color-coded them according to the day of the week. And let's not forget the largest mini car collection in the world, most of which is displayed in his Sheik Khalifa Museum. For him, I guess size really doesn't matter. Expensive purchases. If you need a five minute breather, take one now because we're not nearly done. President Khalifa boasts ownership of the world's biggest privately owned yacht, the Azam. He bought this for around $627 million and is recorded as the single most expensive luxury item purchase of all time. 
The yacht has a bulletproof master bedroom, a missile defense system, two helipads, and an inbuilt movie theater. Let's not forget the swimming pools inside the yacht and the mini submarines. Mr. Khalifa also has his own private jet, the 747 Jumbo Jet, and another one, the 737 Jumbo Jet, for his 100-person escort, which he takes along with him on international visits. Investments. Everyone has heard of the world's tallest building, the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. But did you know that its former name was Burj Dubai? It was later named after Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed in 2010 as an expression of gratitude because he pumped billions of dollars into Dubai, effectively saving it from complete financial doom. Yep, he's kind of a big deal around here in case you didn't already know. According to Forbes, Khalifa bin Zayed controls approximately 97.8 billion barrels of crude oil reserves, valuing more than $830 billion. Perhaps he loves fried fish and wanted to make sure he never ran out of oil to cook it. On top of that, the Sheik also runs one of the biggest sovereign wealth funds, with assets amounting to a reported $830 billion. He isn't ranked as the fourth richest monarch for nothing now, is he? Although he loved to spend money on his own luxury, Sheikh Khalifa has also established programs to help others, including ultra-modern medical facilities and relief programs. He launched the Khalifa Fund for Enterprise Development to support local investment and entrepreneurial ideas, as well as promoting medium-scale developments in Abu Dhabi. It helps out fresh graduates and young business-minded men and women with creative ideas and a managerial spirit to pursue their dreams. The Safa program was started to safeguard the cultural heritage of the Emirates by promoting the handicraft industry and supporting all artists, especially women. Who doesn't love a feminist man? Clearly, the Khalifa was an intelligent man, because he also launched the Al Rada program in collaboration with the state's police department. This program brought Abu Dhabi's inmates the opportunity to settle into the business sector and make a new life for themselves after serving their sentence. Although Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed was accused of reckless extravagance, nobody can deny that he also gave back to not just his own society, but to other countries in need. And although he only had symbolic power after 2014, the people of the Emirate loved him, and a 40-day mourning period was announced after his death on the 13th of May, 2020. That's a wrap for this video. Try pronouncing Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed's full name while holding your breath. How far did you get? Would you agree that the Sheik's automobile collection was a little excessive, or is that normal rich person behavior? What part of his lifestyle shocked you the most? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one!